BoxerVoice.com live with Brandon, the Cannon Adams, coming off of a great knockout over Alex Perez. It's kind of bittersweet for me. He's from my hometown, and you put him down, but uh, you made it look good. And this is your second opportunity out of the Buxino when you capitalized. You showed everyone that they didn't make a mistake giving you another chance to be back on the big stage. You proved that today. You did a lot of good in and out movement, definitely dug to the body. How do you assess your performance tonight? Uh, to be quite honest, I don't know if I told you before, but I grade myself pretty hard. I say maybe a B plus. Uh, I didn't get to ask my corner, my trainer, you know what I mean, in my camp, how did I do just yet? Because uh, right now we were just, you know, excited. We're excited about the win. Um, and so right now, before I actually just grade myself too tough, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, accept this win. Okay, well, that's fair enough, man. I'm pretty sure that the critics and the fans watching are excited. Uh, like I said, you know, a lot of good in and out movement. You landed a lot of left hooks. Now, what was it about Alex Perez that, that kind of, had you just lingering on the inside now obviously you're the smaller guy so that's where you want to be but it seemed like you can pretty much do what you wanted from the outside as well yeah well uh alex perez like i said he was a tough adversary tough customer um and i know like i, I seen that's where he kind of wanted me to be i felt like once he got on the inside he was he wanted to work a little more you know what i mean and uh alex perez once again he's tough he, he kind of grew up the same way I grew up. It's just he was from the East Coast. I'm from the West. So um, I kind of feel like that's what he wanted. You know what I mean? He felt that that's where he was going to be, you know, thriving. And, and I want to show him, you know what I mean? I'm just like him. I could bang in a, in a, uh, in a uh, we can bang pretty close, basically. <laughs> well, uh, you know, obviously you got the win. It's a tournament. There's brackets. You know your next opponent. But now you have the uh, appropriate time to prepare. You know, some guys like John Thompson only got one day's notice. Right, right, right. So, uh, you know, coming into this next fight, what do you think about your, your new opponent now with this bracket situation? Well, the thing is, actually, is uh, Vito, he helped me out when I was an amateur turning pro. So uh, he used to always give me rounds. When we first met each other, we used to bang. And then once we got to know each other, you know what I mean, we start working with one another. So, I mean, uh, this wouldn't be the first time me and him worked. I saw, like like I said, when we first met each other, we was going at it. And uh, I'm looking forward to showing him how much I've grown up in person. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I think he knows how much you've grown. I was interviewing him while you were in the ring. And obviously, I had my back to the ring. And all we hear is the cheers. And he turns over and says, Brandon did it. That's going to be the guy I got to get in there with. But he says he knows you well. So how, how does a fighter you know, come with that killer instinct when you're fighting your friend or your buddy or former sparring partner. Well, to be honest, every time I fight, I don't think kill the man. It's a game of tag, and I don't want to be the one getting tagged. That's the honest to God truth. When I get up in there and I fight, I, my intention is never to kill or be killed. Unfortunately, maybe I didn't get that since, uh, you know, uh, I haven't been boxing forever, but uh, I'm definitely in there to win. And I have the mentality of winning when I'm in there fighting. So that's that's basically uh, the gist of Brandon Adams when he's in that ring. Well, last question. How did you feel with the move down in weight? Obviously, last year you were in Boxino 160. This year, 154. Uh, but you look good. You look powerful. I mean, in the first round, you landed about three shots. Not simultaneously, but throughout the duration that it felt like every shot moved Alex Perez. Yeah, well... Uh like I said before, I, 154 is where I started. Uh, I got dreams of coming down to 147. I believe I can make, make 147. I mean, I make 154 pretty good. And uh, so I, I feel good at 154. This is where I started, and you know what I mean? Uh, this is where I plan on finishing my career as well. Second shot, man. You're going to take that belt home this time or what? Tell me what you think. I hope so. <laughs> right on, All right, brother. Well, thank you again for giving the Boxer Voice your time, and uh, we've Wish you the best. Thank you.